So for this morning, we'll be working on some grounding meditation as well as some grounding movements, but balancing movements as well for bringing the energy back up after perhaps a lot of soul or shadow digging that many of us have been going through with this eclipse energy. I know myself, I've been having a lot of um, up and down sleep schedules and various different effects from this current moon cycle. And so today is kind of uh, the focus of the practice is to sort of ground ourselves into everything that we feel will support us for the next layers of this cycle and just kind of tying up loose ends in the energy body, so to speak. So anything that has kind of been flowing through, look at this practice this morning as the time for you to say thank you for the lessons, to acknowledge and to release anything that is kind of sticky or hanging on or feeling like um, it's still under process uh, and just giving it a, a little bit of a, of a push and a lift and then grounding yourself in for greater levels of balance. So you can begin by finding a comfortable seat, whether that's Sukhasana, easy pose, half lotus or lotus pose. And just start by tuning into your roots. And bring your breath all the way through you. As you inhale, in through the nose, light fills your body, fills the crown chakra, circulates through the brain and down the spinal cord. And as your breath starts to even out long, slow, deep inhale with an evenly long, slow exhale. Feel this vibration of light, maybe a tingling along the scalp, maybe a warmth around the face and head and neck. And feel as it sort of burrows down past the heart down through the spinal cord, along the spinal column. Sort of little spiraling light. And take your time with your breath to envision this little spiraling light circulating down through Shashumna into Muladhara. And in your own time, as this light reaches the pelvic floor, imagine an opening in the pelvic floor. Let your breath come all the way down into the base of the body. The breath expands and fills the perineum and a blossoming of the root chakra opens. And the root chakra starts to grow roots, tendrils of little roots growing into big, great roots like a gigantic tree burrowing as well in spirals deep down beneath you into the core of the earth, a little bit deeper in your connection with every breath. Every inhale fills you with light from the sky and accelerates this spiral of prana a little bit more. And every exhale lifts up and out any toxins, any up on any waste in the body. 
which becomes nourishment for the natural elements around. and allows your system to clear and release what is no longer serving while bringing in life force, balancing forces, always at play within the body. Even when the cosmos are spinning with intensity and the energies of the moon and the earth are pushing and pulling on the ebb and flow of our emotions, we always have the center of our breath and the spiral of balancing forces to return to through concentration, through meditation. And as your roots continue burrowing down into the earth, they begin to drink up prana from the earth. And these two flows of energy prana from the sky and prana from the earth. Start to bring a releasing effect in the body. Sort of little bubbles or waves of energetic massage. You're going to follow this again from the top of the head and down through the body. Starting at the top of the head, at the crown and the scalp even seeing, maybe feeling a slight sensation on your hair, and then going in through your hair to the scalp itself. Feeling whatever slight sensation is there, maybe reminding yourself of your scalp, moving the eyebrows a little bit to feel the top of the head stretch along the cranium opening the eyes wide, looking up, looking side to side, feeling those slight sensations in the top and the back of the head. And remembering your breath. Each inhale fills from the pelvic floor all the way to the top of the head. Allowing the opening and expansion of the diaphragms in the body releasing tension and pressure. Continuing your deep, slow breaths and bringing your awareness now to the forehead itself, the forehead and the temples and even the ears. And just noticing any slight sensations maybe warmth gathering in some parts of the face or ears, maybe warmth gathering along the neck, or even sensations of cold along the back of the neck, along the backs of the ears. And just breathe and feel those sensations, this energetic massage with every inhale, bubbling through, releasing layers of tension. And every exhale <sighs> dissolves that tension and sends it out like a little sparkly shower of dust, just kind of releasing with every exhale. If you feel some point in the body as you breathe, feeling a little tight perhaps now as we continue moving down through the face into the cheeks and the jaw. Maybe you know your jaw is tight, moving a little bit side to side, hinging the jaw, opening wide the mouth. I'm just feeling if there's tension in the jaw, tension in the neck. With your breath, just releasing it. 
maybe some slight movements to look to one side, synchronizing your breath, slow, deep, even breaths to turn the head to the left and the right. Perhaps to look down and up. Or perhaps simply staying in the focus of the slight sensations as you give yourself this energetic massage with your awareness. And any point you come to where you feel the tension might be stuck, just take a really deep inhale and a big ha, ah, releasing sigh or lion's breath. <sighs> feeling into and focusing on that tension and seeing again this sort of particulate dust or smog bringing up and out the tension and letting it just dissolve into golden particles of new life. Just feeling into the shoulders and maybe opening the shoulders up, hugging the shoulder blades together, maybe rolling them a bit side to side. Start to follow your energy body, maybe starting to open the side waist a little bit and one arm can come up and then the other. Bringing your awareness to every little sensation of opening or stiffening of freedom of movement or tension and stuckness of stira and of sukha. Let yourself connect to that spiraling energy. Maybe you naturally feel to start to move along the spine with some Sufi grinds, or maybe your body needs an opening of the chest and back of the heart with some seated cat cows. Find a mixture and a rhythm that works for you with these long, slow, deep breaths. And the observation of every little sensation. It's okay if you miss a sensation and it's okay if you catch a sensation. Stay unattached to the sensations and allow the body to be healed by your intentions, by your awareness. Focusing on the torso and the shoulders. Really feeling yourself. And as we get down into the legs now, you can stretch your legs out in front of you. Come into a lightly engaged Dandasana or staff pose. So you can even bend your knees a little bit to start with. And we'll just sort of start to work into it. So spine tall and straight, the shoulders rolled back and down and a slight bend in the knees. And just sort of pedal your feet out, pressing one knee down and then the other, the heels can be rooted to the ground. Just sort of pedaling the feet out, stretching a little bit more at a time, getting the energy into the backs of the legs. And bring your awareness to that spiral of light and let it split from the base of the spine, along the pelvis, circulating through the pelvis, through the hip flexors, and then down along the quads. 
down along the calves. And just focus now on energetically massaging any tension out of the legs. And then slowly letting the legs come out completely straight. Pressing the thighs down into the ground, growing tall, long spine. Breathing here, just focusing on that spiral of light and feeling into any sensations in the legs. Where is the tension and where is the freedom? <sighs> Get into your breath and let your voice resonate through your breath for five breaths now, deep inhales, and cleansing ha breaths out. <sighs> Ah. 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 Now you can allow your legs to relax again, maybe a slight bend again, coming into the backs of the thighs and under the knees, perhaps even placing something under the knees if you feel. And you're going to let the feet relax and then just start to walk yourself forward. Folding a little bit in and then pausing for a moment, feeling, okay, how's my spine? How are the backs of my legs? Does it feel like sukha or ease right now? to keep folding in? Or is there a bit of stira, effort, tension required to hold myself here? And just listen to that energy in your body and just pause for a moment. Feel into the tension, bring your awareness back to that spiral of light. And you're gonna bring that, the spiral of light from the base of your feet around your feet and around your ankles. And you're gonna to start to watch the spiral come back up the legs. And as you do this, take your time to soften a little deeper. Maybe every few breaths, you sink in a little further to this Paschimottanasana, moving into a caterpillar pose. Since we'll hold this for some time, it reverts to the yin version of itself. Just allowing the tensions in the legs and all along the back body to start to melt as you invite that spiral of light up along the legs, circulating around all those big muscle groupings of the calves and the quadriceps, awakening the flow of blood and the flow of energy between earth and sky, between your root and your crown, and all along the spine, shushumna activating with light. Just allow yourself to breathe and be here.
and start to see those spirals of light again joining at the base of the spine at the pelvis the center column of the spine now and that light starts to circle back around shashumna rising up around the spinal column Deep inhale, big sigh, <sighs> inhale here, exhale, slowly start to walk yourself back up. Coming up with a straight spine, open the chest to the sky, look up, big sigh, <sighs> planting the hands on either side of your hips. And then plant your feet wider than hips width distance and just windshield wiper your legs side to side a few times. And then slowly make your way onto hands and knees into a tabletop position. And hands are beneath the shoulders, fingers are spread, and the spine is neutral. And we'll begin some cat cow. So inhaling, sending the hips up, looking up, opening the chest, exhale, sending the spine up tucking the tailbone, looking towards the pelvis, towards the belly button, and just move through these at your own pace, going a bit slower than normal, really giving yourself time to experience the full range of motion and the sensations associated with it. Really synchronizing your breath with your movements and feeling how much can you stretch? How much can you open and connect your breath into that openness? Completing three more cycles. And then from here, bringing the big toes together and stretching your Arms forward, sinking down into a wide-legged child's pose. Breathing into your hip flexors. Allowing any stucky motion to start to warm up and melt out of the hips. Maybe it helps you to sway a bit side to side or walk your hands over to one side and sink in. And then the other and sink in. Just feel where the stuck energy may be. And consider your readiness to let go of 
anything that has been challenging you as of late. I am ready and willing to let it all go. Just breathe in that willingness. We'll stay here for one minute. I am ready and willing to let it all go. Deep inhale, big sigh, <sighs> deep inhale, exhale, start to pull yourself forward onto your belly, sliding all the way forward onto your belly, bringing the elbows beneath your shoulders and coming into a sphinx posture, opening the chest forward, elbows beneath the shoulders, Fingers can be spread or in fists, depending on how solid you feel here. And depending on how your lower back feels, you can also change the degree of your bend by bringing the elbows a bit further forward and strengthening still into the arms, but not pushing the spine up or chest up as much. And breathe here in your sphinx posture. Feel the energies of your heart. How is your heart today? Do you feel loving? Are the emotional energies flowing out? Or is there some stuck whisper, stuck desire, or stuck fear? Ask your heart. And breathe in your sphinx posture. Feel the heart opening. Just filling yourself with love. Deep inhale, big sigh. <sighs> Deep inhale, lion's breath. Two more. Now you have the option here to tuck your toes, press into the hands and forearms, send the hips up, coming into a forearm plank, and then walk the feet and press into the hands to find your downward facing dog. Or from your sphinx, you can tuck the toes, send the hips up, bend the knees, bring the knees underneath the hips, press the hands underneath the shoulders, finding your tabletop, then send your hips up and back, downward facing dog, finding your way with your strength, and we're meeting in downward facing dog. So in your downward dog, you can start to pedal out your feet. Pedal out your feet, stretch again into the backs of the legs. Feel your length and strength of your whole body. And then find stillness here for a few breaths. And 
And when you feel ready to move, you can inhale your right leg up behind you. Exhale, bring that foot to the outside of your right hand. Pressing into the left fingertips, inhale your right arm up, opening up the heart and chest, finding a slight twist in this lizard lunge, breathing here. Deep inhale, exhale, plant the hands beneath the shoulders, press into that left leg, bring the feet to meet in plank pose, chaturanga, down, inhale into a back bend, deep inhale, exhale, sending the hips up and back, downward facing dog, deep inhale here, inhale your left leg up now, Exhale, bring that foot to the outside of your left hand. Lower the back knee down. Press into the right fingertips. Inhale the left arm up. Breathing here. Deep inhale. Exhale, bringing the hands again beneath the shoulders. Tucking that back right toes, lengthening the right leg, and bring the feet to meet, plank pose. Deep inhale in your plank, chaturanga down. Inhale, your back bend. Exhale, up and back, downward facing dog. Breathing here. Deep inhale here. Exhale, lower the knees down in line with the hips and bring the torso on top of the thighs, arms in front, finding a standard child's pose now. Take a deep breath in and a big sigh. Inhale here and send the right arm along the side of the body to reach towards the feet. Deep breath. And on the next breath, do the same with the left so that both the arms come alongside the thighs and your shoulders are resting essentially on the knees. If this happens to not be accessible to you, you can place a cushion of some kind in front of the forehead and even in between the torso and the thighs and give yourself a little bit more room to simply relax. Find a deep inhale, big sigh, <sighs> inhale here, exhale, bring both arms back out in front of you, deep inhale, exhale, press into the fingertips, lift the chest up, so you're going to press into the fingertips, lift the chest up, lengthen the spine, deep inhale, exhale, relax again, fold down. We'll do that twice more. Inhale, pressing into the fingertips, lengthening the spine, pulling the shoulders back and down, long spine, breathing here. Big sigh. <sighs> Inhale, exhale, folding back into your child's pose. And one more time. Inhale, pressing into the fingertips, Lifting the chest, lengthening the spine. Breathing here. <sighs> Inhale. Exhale, tucking the belly button into the spine and see if you can simply rise up <laughs> using your core. Beautiful, awesome. 
now coming into where you end up in a thunderbolt pose or a hero pose, place the hands down on the thighs, roll the shoulders back and down, simply breathe. And now from here, we're going to do three minutes of Sat Kriya. So we'll inhale the arms up and tune into the Kundalini first, inhaling the arms up, palms come together above head. Exhale, pull the palms down to the heart center. <clears throat> and we'll tune in with the Adi Mantra, Om Namo Guru Dev Namo, deep inhale. Om Namo Guru Dev Namo. Om Namo Guru Dev Namo Om Namo Guru Dev Namo Deep inhale. Big breath out. <sighs> Finding temple mudra with the hands so the index fingers stay together, the middle ring and pinky interlace with each other, and then the thumb can be left over right or right over left, depending on if you're balancing your masculine energies right over left, if you're balancing your feminine energies left over right. And then bringing the arms up so that the uh, biceps come basically along the ears and the arms are straight pointing up to the sky. Shoulders still come back and down so you're not pulling the shoulders up. There's still space between your shoulders and your ears, but the arms are straight and strong. And we'll begin with Sat Kriya, do three minutes of Sat Kriya. So the Sat belly pumps in and Nam belly relaxes. Sat, Nam, and the air finds its way in. <laughs> Sat, Nam, 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 Sat, Nam. Sat, Nam, 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 Sat. Nam, Sat, 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 Nam, Sat. Nam. Deep inhale. 
Big sigh. <sighs> inhale here. Big sigh. <sighs> One more deep inhale. Big sigh. <sighs> inhale. Exhale, keeping the hands clasped, drawing the fingers down in front of the body, almost like you're zipping your field, drawing a line in the aura and grounding the hands down, relaxing, releasing the mudra, placing the hands again on the thighs, breathing here. Deep inhale, exhale, place your fingertips to the right side of your body, lower down onto your right hip and send the legs out again in front of you. Shake out the legs a minute. <laughs> and then you're going to make your way onto your back and we'll roll out the spine a little bit. So clasping the tops of the shins and rolling out onto your back. Roll along the spine, moving that kundalini energy. And whenever you feel like you've had enough of that, we'll meet in legs in the air so you can come to stillness. Stretch the legs straight up in the sky. You can have your hands underneath the pelvis if you wish, or your arms simply along the sides of the body. And extend the legs up into the sky, breathing here. And bring your awareness back to those spirals of energy, bringing them again from the bottoms of your feet, around your feet, and then all the way around your ankles and calves, spiraling lights, massaging away any toxins and tensions, letting the lymph fluid start to drain and the blood to recycle. Taking a deep inhale, big sigh, <sighs> inhale here, exhale, bring your knees into your chest, hug yourself close, clasping your elbows along the sides of the knees and bringing your opposite hand to opposite elbow, and then hugging yourself close, forehead to your knees, coming into a little tiny ball of energy, Gathering the light from within you and all around you. Filling your whole body with this light. Concentrating it in your core. And then when you are ready, you can extend your legs down in front of you and your arms behind you, lengthen your whole body long. Stretch everything long and then allow yourself to soften and sink in for Shavasana. Settling your body into the ground beneath you. As the spiral of energy starts to circulate again from the crown 
down along the forehead and temples and jaw, softening and relaxing the forehead and temples and jaw. And this softening and relaxing trickles slowly downward, down through the neck and the shoulders, softening and relaxing, grounding into the earth. And the chest and the shoulders open and soften and relax. And the energies of Shashumna and Ida and Pingala come into balance and harmony. There is space created in the spine as everything sinks in to the earth, sinking into grounded, balanced relaxation and rejuvenation, allowing yourself to be here now, held by the sacredness of Mother Earth.
Shanti, Shanti. You can allow yourself to awaken the toes and the fingers. Maybe taking another big long stretch, opening the whole body. Just letting yourself slowly come up into a seat as you're ready. As you move up into a seat, inhale the arms up above the head and the palms come together at the heart center. Find gratitude for your body, for your experience of life so far today and say thank you to every cell in your being. Just a few moments to send gratitude to the billions upon billions upon billions of little cells that make up all that you are, a balancing force of creation. May your entire being bubble with gratitude and lightness as we continue into a new cycle of freedom and balance, blessed be to you, Loka Samasta Sukino Bhavantu, Namaste Satnam. Oh yes, and actually we should probably tune out with Satnam once because we did do a Kundalini tune in halfway through the class. So we'll just tune out with Satnam, deep inhale. Sa.